Okay, once again, the rumors of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. I want to thank everybody for all the positive comments about my new job and thank everybody that's been asking. It's going really, really good. I'm really, really busy. The only problem is I'm working like 50 or 60 hours a week, which seriously cuts into my video time. But I digress. That's the subject for another time. This subject of this video is a yet another can opener video because here's the thing. I'm not, I haven't made a secret of, of my can opener difficulties and I freely admit that I'm can opener challenged. I tried using the P38 and the P38 just didn't work out too good. You know, it was really small and it was really hard on your fingers and I was going to show it to you, but I cannot find the damn thing. I probably threw it out the last time I used it, but it's just, it just doesn't work good. So one of my subscribers sent me this. And this was the subject of the last video. This is the Australian Fred, the field ration eating device. And it's got the little bottle opener for beverages. And it's got, of course, the can opener, plenty of finger room. And it's got the little spoon that I guess could come in handy for something. But this was really, really comfortable, really, really open the can really, really easily. Well, yet another one of my subscribers, and I love y'all, y'all the best subscribers on YouTube. Yet another one of my subscribers felt sorry for me, and he sent me this, the P51 can opener. And he not only sent me one, he sent me two P51s. So I got two P51s, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna review this today, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little shootout of the P51 against the Fred, the Australian Fred. Uh, you know, for size comparison, the Fred's much bigger, but I'm gonna do a little shootout on one, a can of one of my favorite survival foods that I think y'all will know and love. And let's go down to the workbench of death and let's get this party started. All right, here we go. We have the Australian Fred can opener. Uh, and this this worked really really well last time the only problem is it, it kind of the blade doesn't stick open uh, it kind of it kind of flops around so but it's got the little beverage opener and the little spoon now the p51 the blade kind of clips out and it keeps it open it doesn't let it fall so I kind of like that yeah you know it's and it's pretty wide I'm thinking that the p51 is gonna work pretty well also another thing is when you compare the blades, it looks like the P51 blade is just a little bit different configuration, maybe a little bit bigger. So we're gonna try this today on one of my one of my all-time favorites, and I know it's one of your all-time favorites. This is a flashback from my past, and it's probably gonna be a flashback from your past. Please leave me a comment below if any of you remember this. SpaghettiOs. <laughs> with meatballs <laughs> i was looking for the chef boyardee version of this because you know the chef don't do nothing second class but all i could find was the campbell's version because uh, the campbell's version have a solid top all of the chef boyardees have the pop tops so this has a solid top on the bottom uh, on the top and a solid top on the bottom uh, and a solid surface yeah a solid top on the bottom it's got a solid top on the top and a solid bottom on the bottom look the same so one of them is going to open one side and one of them is going to open the other side so here we go spaghettios with meatballs and i ain't had no lunch yet so i'm, I'm gonna eat this spaghettios uh this would be a great canteen cup tuesday uh portion so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start with the p51 all right so I've never used, and I've never used a P51 before. This is my first try, time. So we got the nice notch. All right, positive engagement. Let's go. Okay. Three. All right, this is going very easy. This is so much easier than the P38, it's unbelievable. And like I said, I don't even have to speed this video up because we are just about done. Wow, the P51, 
made short work of that can. Now we got a little bit of Sketio juice on there. I know what to do with that. Okay, the P51 performed very admirably on this can of SpaghettiOs. So I'm gonna pause this whilst I get a bowl to put them SpaghettiOs in, and then we're gonna roll. Okay, I remembered that I didn't have to look any farther than the other side of my workbench to get Old Faithful that was sitting there. And now all I have to do is just get me a nice canteen cup full of SpaghettiOs with meatballs. <laughs> they don't all want to come out of there at once. All right, so, oh, that helps. All right, so, the P51 was pretty darn comfortable. Um, but I, I had the experience last time with the Fred. And what we're going to do is, after we get these schedules out of here, we are going to, open up this side of the can with the Australian Fred. So I'm gonna go wash this can out and then I'll be back. Okay, y'all don't know what you're missing right now. Wow, that's almost a whole canteen cup. I'm gonna get this for lunch. Okay, so I'll put that aside. Now, here's our SpaghettiO can. One side opened by the venerable P51. Now, we're gonna go onto this side. We're gonna shoot it out with the Fred. All right, here we go. Maybe not a good comparison because the can's empty now, but here we go. This is this is working equally as well. It seems like the I don't know which one is easier. Uh, the P fifty one worked just awesome but this one is just this is making equally as quick work of this can so we're getting down here to brass tacks ha there we go with the Australian Fred same result uh, I'm gonna have to go back and look at the video and time this and I'm going to let you know, I'm going to put the time on each of them. So the Australian Fred were great on our favorite spaghetti, <laughs> SpaghettiOs with meatballs, which incidentally is now my lunch out of the canteen cup. So what did we learn today? Let's go up and give my final thoughts. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Today we looked at the P51 versus the Australian Fred. These are both quality can openers. I'm telling you, they are so much better than the P38 ever thought of being. Um, I, you know, the P51 versus the Fred, um, I'm gonna call it a tie. I really can't pick a clear winner. They both work great. There's there's plenty of finger room. It seems like the Fred, if you had a tough can, the Fred would give you more leverage, but the P51 has a lot of finger surface to work with too. Uh, and I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna call this a tie. You can't lose with the P51 and you can't lose with the Australian Fred. So that's the result of my comparison. Once again, I wanna thank everybody for the comments uh, and the new jobs going really good. Uh, and it's it's good because I'm so busy I can't do a, a lot of videos uh, uh, but it's also bad that I can't do a lot of videos but on the flip side it's really really hot outside and I don't want to be out in those woods anyway uh, it's just gonna have to cool off a little bit because I'm not getting any younger so with my SpaghettiOs and meatballs out of my canteen cup and my review of the P51 and the Australian Fred. This is Matt the Old Florida Boy, and I will see you on the trail.